Hello and welcome to another video. Woo's Lab. This time we're going to talk about the top 10 saddest deaths in Harry Potter. Now, 10th spot is Severus Snape. That guy's a cool guy. He was extraordinarily powerful. And he was also an expert at wandless, nonverbal, magic, potions, curses, and lots of other different types of magic. Although, yes, there is a debate of whether he's good or bad, and J.K. Rowling says that he's in a good area. I like good guys, too. I mean, all of us do. Anyways. <clears throat> now, but it was still sad to see him die, and although, yeah, he was the guy who killed Dumbledore, but that was planned by he himself, so, like, yeah. Ninth spot is Remus Lupin. Remus Lupin was also just as talented. And uh, if you don't know, Harry Potter for folklore actually says that he's more powerful than Sirius Black. Barely. Although I disagree, he's barely weaker than Sirius Black. And even though he's still an extremely powerful wizard, only... The only reason he got killed is because the one, the one wizard he fought was the most deadly, one of the deadliest Death Eaters ever, and he got rusty a bit. Uh, do you understand what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> Eighth spot is James Potter and Lily. Evans. Is it Lily Evans or is it Lily Potter? It determines at the time. Yeah, it's Lily Potter because at that time she married James. <clears throat> now, Lily and James Potter were both extremely talented wizards. Both are talented at potions. One brew an animagus potion. One agreed by Slow Corn that he, she is a dab at potions. Uh, yeah. were excellent in charms, spells, well, curses in this, um, jinxes, um, yeah, jinxes, like impedimenta, the broom jinx, although I'm not sure if they actually know that, and both were extremely skilled duelists, <clears throat> and seventh spot is Bellatrix Lestrange. I mean, okay, yes. Nobody likes her, but I thought it would be better if Neville was the one to finish her off. I mean, you know why. She was the one who tortured <clears throat> Neville's parents. She was the one to anger him at the Department of Mysteries. She was the one to capture Neville at the Department of, of Mysteries, so, like, yeah. Sixth spot is... Dobby is a free elf! Dobby. Dobby is quite adorable and is a free elf who wants to be free, unlike most house elves. And it sucks a lot because Harry because what was the clothes that Harry Lucius or Harry that gave a sock which is Dobby's favorite clothes and because of that and always knit socks and in a video, if Harry Potter at Facebook, Dobby, Dobby actually made a Horcrux. And do you know what that Horcrux was? Harry Sock! <laughs> Anyways, fifth spot, Albus Dumbledore. Yes, it was planned all by the start, but 
it that guy seriously it was too bad to see him die like that guy was so cool especially because of the fact that he was the greatest wizard of all time that's it that's proven and like most of us say that he's our favorite character Quite a few of us like that guy. Well, most of us do. And fourth spot is... <clears throat> is, is, is... Mad-Eye Moody. Mad-Eye Moody was one of the toughest stores in Britain and lost an eye, although... He got a much better eye, which can see through invisibility cloaks. Even if that cloak is a deathly hollow. What? A leg and part of his nose, which is painful. He died in the Battle of Seven Potters because Voldemort thought that... <clears throat> Mad Eye was the one to have Harry, although it was Hagrid who had Harry. Third spot is. Okay, I'll tell you. Is. Yeah, uh, I've never thought about third spot. I'll think of him. Harry Potter. I mean, okay, he did come back from the dead, which is so satisfying, but, like, think of it if he did not come back. Uh! Yeah. Second spot is Sirius Black. He died in the Department of Mysteries <coughs> battle when he and Harry actually took down Antonin, which is a nearly impossible task, and Lucius Malfoy with a few flicks of Sirius's wand, which proves that he does, that he is an extremely powerful wizard. Not only that, he is an animagus and is still not known to be one. At least for the Ministry of Magic. Not only that, that guy was killed only because he was killed, like, he wasn't ready to do a Bellatrix. If that guy was, that guy probably would have been able to defeat her. Number one spot is... Yeah, number one spot is <clears throat> Bethilda. Did she actually die? Like, she was an extreme history of magic expert and great friend of Albus Dumbledore, and she died. And the only reason I put her at first place is because she was a friend of Albus Dumbledore. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe and bye!